Hi, my name is Christoph and welcome to the Quick Stew Workshop. I'm gonna attempt to make my own snoof. So if you don't know what a snoof is, I also didn't know what a snoof is, but you can you can check um, at this link by Adam Kreutner. Um He's got a channel and he is all into puppets. And we've made a, a couple of puppets, my wife and I. We've become involved in a, a, a little orphanage in our community and we are giving them Sunday school lessons. So um, we found the need to make a, a decent puppet, hand puppet, to entertain the kids. We've made some other temporary puppets from socks and so on and it worked. But um, we, we decided to make a bigger puppet theatre and a bigger puppet theatre needs to have bigger puppets. So uh, this is a very simple way if you want to, if you have a kids and you want to entertain them, <coughs> very simple, great way. And if you go on, on his uh, channel, on the links on his website, there's lots of patterns that you can download. So here you can see we downloaded the speed F. and printed it out so first of all materialist need some a piece of fur fabric check like this um, a 5 by 5 inch square of, of felt or pink for the mouth interior I'm going to use this this red I've also got this pink if, if the red's not working and then this is the template uh, the mouth material uh, I need some hard plastic and I'm going to find an old discarded credit card is going to be a perfect size for that. So I need two of them. There's two cards. And some thread, a sewing needle. I'm not going to need that because we're going to put it through the sewing machine. Um, some hot glue, hot glue gun and hot glue. Uh, what we also would need is eyes for the for the puppet, and I've got something here. Oh yes, some dark material also that I see. And we yeah, where we live is very limited, so I've got the, um, we've got these that we're gonna use for the eyes, and then got these googly little things stick on there to make a nice eye. Now I'll fashion some eyelids when I get to that point. So we've got that. What else do we need? Ah, some contact glue. This is just rubber cement and tool wise uh, I also need a pair of scissors to cut out the, the pattern, um, a sharp knife, I've got, I've got these scalpels that's discarded but you can use any, it's a very sharp little knife. So the instructionals uh, show us exactly how. Step one, 
Photocopy or trace the pattern from the book or download printable version www.snoofsoftheworld.com <clears throat> There's a link in the description. And I've done that. There's the, the pattern is printed out. Uh, next is trace the snoof pattern onto the fabric. Okay, so I'll also need a a marker and trace the mouth plate pattern cut out all pieces okay let's do that I'm gonna cut this so you can use scissors or you can use a sharp blade and a cutting mat so I think it's gonna be quicker to cut it out with the blade so they say here uh, Add five inches to the length below. So I'm just going to cut it like this. But there, add five inches, and we're going to add a piece here to make it longer. I'm just going to continue this line. Cut this out. I'm just gonna glue this some tape. And there are my patterns. To trace it, I, 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 I'm going to use the back of this. And I need two halves, but I'm not going to trace it like this. I'm going to flip around for the second half so that I have a, a right and a left. Okay. So this material has got a grain. I just want to see how the grain runs the best. Yeah, definitely like this. Okay, so the grain runs like this. So it's better to have the pattern run down in the length of the grain. So this is not right. It's a good thing I thought of that. You also see I, I'm not using the, the existing edge because this was cut with the scissors and the, the hair was cut shorter there. And I'm rather gonna just cut it a little bit inside. Now flip it over for this other side. And now I'm going to use my very sharp uh, scalpel knife to cut it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut through the top, this top layer, so that I don't damage the hair. So I'm cutting it lightly. I'm not cutting it deep. I'm just cutting through the backing. And that way the hair stays long. Uh, it doesn't get cut off. If I use a scissors and I just cut it like this, then you you actually cut the hair like that. You can see there. So this is a little bit time consuming, but it is worth it. Now the other half. So the next step is step three. It says sew up along the back and front edges. Now this would be this way with the fur in the middle uh, in the inside.
So these parts are going to be sewn together. We'll tuck, tuck the, the hair in. So that is that. And I need to cut out the fabric for the mouth inside. So I'm going to use the black for the mouth. So I'm gonna try There's the bottom and the top. And it's divided there and there. Cut it out. So let's get this sewn up. And everything is sewn together. Uh, this was sewn with the machine and this was hand stitched. If you don't have a machine, a uh, sewing machine, then you can just hand stitch the whole thing. I've got my two credit cards. Um, I see the, it's a little bit too short, but I don't think it's going to mind so much. Just gonna put it like that. Other side. Oh, it feels good. Oh, great. Love it. You can also use a, a stiff plastic container, any old plastic, or if you have a piece of ABS plastic, you can also, and what's nice about ABS plastic is you can just score it and it will break wherever you score it. So, if I do it like this, Okay, so put these aside. So now the next step would be to put, to glue these in place here before I turn the whole thing around. So for this operation, I need to use this contact adhesive. I'm going to use this brush. So very carefully, not too much. The reason why we don't put too much on 
He said we don't want this glue to leak through the material. You just have a layer on top. Put some on the other side also. I'm just gonna cut these into halves for the eyes. So those are going to be the eyes. <clears throat> Let's see on this page what's the next step of the step four. We did that. Step five, we already did that. So we at step six. Step six is to glue this in. And step seven, which is the final step, it uh, says add features and details to your snoof. You could have a nose, eyes, ears, teeth, hair, and more. So um, the eyes can be ping pong balls, plastic spoons, button beads. We couldn't find any of that, so we used these polystyrene egg balls. These ones. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, uh, we you can add he <coughs> can add extra hair yarn. Um, we can add eyelashes, and I'll show you now. Oh, I'm going to do that. So this must be touch dry. I'm going to plug in the glue gun so long. So let's recap on the tools that we used. We used a sharp blade, anti cutter, pair of scissors, um, a brush for the glue, some contact adhesive, kaki, some pencil or something to write on the darker material, a uh, tape measure, a ruler, and a glue gun. And that's it. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. And obviously a sewing a needle and thread or a sewing machine. And that's most, most households have that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think it's dry enough. So I'm going to put my, my hand in. Like that. So I have something to press against. And let's put this in place to tuck it in underneath the, the sewing like that and just give it a nice press and you remember those little marks that I made there in the, in the mouth corners so I'm just lining it up with that and it's fits perfectly okay pressing down the back making sure it made contact everywhere and now for the big reveal let's turn it inside out 
or right side out actually. Okay, let's get rid of the hair around the mouth. And there we have a nice, what again, snoof. Snoof. There, we have a snoof. Hello. This is so cute. Oh, kids are gonna love this. Yeah. There's it from the side. Such a simple design. So the eyes, I wonder if the eyes should be like, Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the two halves, this one. I'm going to use the whole. Yeah, that's it. So let's make some way for them. This you'll just have to eyeball. So you'll have to make... Because the glue gun glue can, can make a big mess. Put the one there. Another one there. Just gonna trim some of these hairs around the eyes. And I think he needs a little nose. Let's try this marble. It's marble. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the marble. Just roll it around a little bit. Cut off the excess. And let's put some, some press. Press that in so you don't see it. Let's just give him a little, little bit of a nose there. Yeah. And the same color. Let's first put the, these googly eyes in. Yeah. 
nice red tongue. So I'm just going to make the tongue to be loose in here. Just going to put a little bit of glue gun glue here, little. So this way I can always rip it out if I don't like it. Oh, so it's a little bit of floppy when I speak. Let's see how it works. And then I definitely want to give him some eyelashes. Yeah, I think And I think he needs a little bit of fluff there or something. So I'm gonna take some of this left over. over. And maybe cut a circle. this and Just to cover the back of the, yeah, I think first I'm gonna just fold the front around like that. And then glue this at the back of the back of the eyes. This will also give the eyes some sturdiness.
And there we have it. Hello. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy watching this this uh, video and you've learned something. Um, yeah, this is my first time making one of these, and I'm sure if you try it, you will find it very easy. There's a lot of things you can do um, to these options with with hair and things. So. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit that like button. Cheers! Have a great week!